Hey guys, John here with Approach Paintball. Today I'm going to make a quick little video uh, for you guys to show you how to clean the eyes and replace your detents in your CS2 and your CS2 Pro. <laughs> Hey guys, so to clean your CS2 or CS2 Pro eyes, uh, there's a couple things real quick uh, that you'll need, but one thing is not your toolkit. So go ahead and put that to the side. Um, you wanna make sure that you don't have an air tank on the gun. I usually recommend taking your barrel off so you don't actually hit it on anything. Um, but of course you'll need your new detents um, out of your Planet Eclipse parts kit. And that is about it. A little bit of muscle, muscle work here, but that's pretty much it. So. First things first, I usually recommend pull the bolt out and you don't have to do this, uh, but what's nice is if you're gonna take the detents out, you wanna make sure that you uh, clean everything. If you're already gonna be in there, make sure you wipe everything down and clean it real well. So go ahead and pull the bolt assembly out completely right there. So I usually recommend to have a swab on hand. That way you can clean the inside of the breech. So first things first, you wanna make sure you pull the front grip off of the CS2. So I usually recommend hold it like this. I can kind of put it on a desk so I don't hit anything. I'm just gonna tug a little bit. Usually the more you break uh, break your gun in, the more you do this, the easier it's gonna be. So you're gonna pull that front rubber piece off there. Um, and then on your, on your eye cover here, there's a small little slide. So this is of course where you change your battery as well. But this is a small little plastic slide here. And in order to get into where your eye sensors are and your detents, you just wanna slide this piece forward. And it's pretty straightforward. I'm not having to use a tool or anything. It slides forward and backwards. It slides forward there. And you want to take your nail or your bottom of your thumb and you want to lift up on this piece here. You don't need a tool. If you have to use a tool or anything, something's not working right, you shouldn't have to do that. So go ahead and pull that piece up and pull that off. And inside there, you'll see two small screws and the little reflector piece for your eye sensor. And then you do have your extra detent inside of here. And that is where your eye sensor is and the hole. So if you are having a double feeding issue or your gun is, let's say, a few years old and you just want to do some basic maintenance on it, um, the detent is going to be one of the things that you want to replace. So in order to get that rubber detent out, you just take my finger inside and push it up. So take it there and I'm pushing up a little bit. Sometimes it'll go flying. So there you go, a small little pop. And there's your ball detent. So again, uh, what you want to do is take your swab run it through the gun, clean it out real well, make sure the breech is completely clean. Uh, I should have grabbed a uh, Q-tip, but you wanna do is take a little Q-tip uh, on the eye sensor here and clean that off. This is a brand new gun, so I don't need to actually do that. But you wanna take a little Q-tip. You don't ever wanna use any chemicals or anything. I've been told that you can use a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip, but as far as we're concerned here at the store, we don't typically do that. You just wanna use a small dry rag to wipe down the majority of stuff, the swab on the inside, and then of course a Q-tip right there. So to replace your detent, you're gonna grab it back. There's literally a hole shaped or cut out that's the same exact shape of your ball detent. So it shouldn't be very confusing on that one. You wanna just drop it back in place. Make sure it clicks, it kind of snaps into place and makes it completely smooth. Good to go there. And then your eye cover, your detent cover comes here. And again, it just lays into place. If you take both of them off at the same time, it can be kind of confusing which one goes on which way, but they only go on their correct side. So as long as you're not forcing it, it should be okay. So it's just gonna lay into there. I kind of put my finger on there and then I'm just gonna snap this forward or backwards, I'm sorry. And it's gonna lock into place. And do that to both sides. Take that off. Same thing, pull that off. Just pop your detent out. Wipe down your eye. So this eye is gonna be different than the other side. One I believe is a sender, one's a receiver. Clean that off with a small Q-tip. There's an extra detent here, but we just always leave that right there. Take your new detent, put it in place, and you'll be able to see there's a small hole right here. That's actually where the reflector piece sends to sense if there's a paintball inside of the breech. So you don't wanna make sure that that pathway is completely clean. Again, make sure your detent's completely flush there. Take your eye cover. It should be smooth completely. Without me having the force, it's completely smooth in there. And then I'm gonna pop that piece back. And then you're gonna take your grips and just slowly slide them up and put your bolt system back in place. Pretty straightforward video, but for so for you Planet Eclipse owners out there, uh, quick, easy, clean. If you're a first time Eclipse owner, you can tell why, uh, why they're one of the top guns on the market. They make everything very streamlined, very simple to use and understand. 
you guys have any questions comment below otherwise we will see you guys in our next video thank you